Hey up gay boys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, so I want to apologise first of all about the last video, not looking in the camera and all the just random bullshit of getting started again. There were some issues. I'm going to be doing a review today of this Rimmel Match Perfection and I guess it's kind of a review but I haven't used this foundation in years. So literally since college, I used to always use it in college, but now that my skin's looking better than it ever has, I want to go ahead and do like a low coverage. But when I say low coverage, I just mean not as full coverage as I'm used to now, you know, hiding behind. Okay, so this is a Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. It's the same formula, smells the same, looks the same. It's in new shades. So I've moisturised my face, I've shaved, I've done all of that. So we're just going to go right in with a sponge. I'm going to see how I feel about it as an adult. I might hate it. I just wanted that nostalgic feeling. So this is like, you can go in with a lot of this because it's really like not very full cover. So I was going to try this one because I was like, I'm going to save the infallible till I've got the Jackie Aina palette. I feel like that palette deserves like a full cover foundation, you know? It's not giving me much coverage, which I kind of expected to be honest. And this foundation isn't buildable. It's for the girl or the boy who really want like that skin look see what i mean like it's just not doing much in the way of coverage like i've used like five pumps on my face it just isn't buildable at all so i don't like it i used to maybe it was just because i didn't know what i was doing back then but i used to really like this foundation but i just think now that i'm used to full coverage i'm just not used to seeing myself in such low coverage so it's probably good for the person that doesn't want to blend it just doesn't hide anything and I need to hide certain things. I'm a man that wears makeup, so, you know, very that. I really don't know why, but I really thought I was going to like it a lot. I was like, let's just try, like, a less full coverage thing than what I'm used to. And I really thought, like, oh, I'll really like it. And I'm just not. I feel like with this, I'm going to need, like, a full cover concealer to, like, cover areas on my face. But I just feel like, yeah, I, I remember it making me look nicer than this. But then again, I also just think that's nostalgia. It was definitely very quick to, like, blend everything. the areas around my beard so this is what the skin's looking like right now so before i just blend it all away let's just go into powder so i'm going to go in with my paler powder just around the beard area because i just want to try and add more coverage there because of how uncovered it is and i'm going to like obviously powder under the eye as well so by the way, when I like really need to add like more powder, I'll pat first just because I don't want to drag around the foundation and then I'll like swipe. And today because I feel like I'm just not getting enough coverage, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight everywhere and then powder. So this is what looking like powdered down. There's definitely like texture. Yeah, there's definitely like cake. Now I'm just gonna like contour blush and highlight for blush. I'm gonna be using those anyway blushed things that I used last time. This one in Rose Tea. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm just gonna contour first. So yeah, just like looking at it, I'm just kind of like, I feel like to compensate for the lack of coverage, I've added more powder and I just feel like it's kind of made me look bad. So just go fix the foundation, the makeup, and now just bang a highlight on. If anyone can recommend like any good affordable highlighters, that would be very, very nice. Very, very appreciated. Okay, it'll do. So that is my foundation, powder, and all that done. I'm going to go ahead and film another video. It's going to be a chat shit, get fit number 12 where i'm going to be playing with the nudes of new york palette so if you want to see that video 
the link will be in the description okay thank you bye so that was a review of the match perfection rimmel london foundation and i'm just not impressed and I've, i feel really sad saying that because this foundation really used to be like my my favorite foundation i wore it every day to college like it used to just, this was like such a nostalgic purchase and smelling it on my face was so nostalgic but the actual performance of this product just was not where i thought it was and in a way obviously yeah that's my fault like that's actually my fault because i use this product myself and i'm a bit upset at the fact that i don't like this anymore so with that being said i wouldn't recommend this it's like really like not any coverage at all and i thought it was going to be a good thing but it didn't like it it just looked weird like it made it made what it was trying to cover look really bad and for me it shouldn't have even tried to cover it like i this would be so much better as like a tinted moisturizer than a foundation i just don't think that this is a good foundation if you have like perfect skin you have no male issues that you need to iron out you would love this but for someone who needs just a smidge of coverage i think this this calling itself visibly perfected skin is a scam it's a lie i'm not best pleased with this foundation i think it could have done a lot better and yeah so i will definitely be using it because i'm not a f waste but i'm very very disappointed i had to add more powder which in turn made it look cakey and bad so i can't blame the foundation for it being cakey but it made me need to use more powder and so that's why it's cakey so i, I, I am actually gonna blame that for it being cakey with that being said, I would not recommend this foundation. I think it's okay. Not for me. I might even give it away, to be honest. I'm kind of like, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But for me, it just was not what the doctor ordered. The doctor ordered more than that. All right. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you liked it. Comment if you're a nasty. And subscribe if you want to see more of this little gay boy in your newsfeed. But with that being said, my name's Daniel. And have a lovely rest of your life.